Ever wonder what causes allergies? Let's make sense of it with science. The substances that cause allergies are called allergens. And an allergen can be house dust, pollen, cat or dog hair, basically anything you're allergic to. Say one spring afternoon we pick a flower, put it to our nose and breathe in its perfume. For one reason or another, that pollen becomes an allergen to us and causes our body to produce allergic antibodies. And even though we won't have an allergic reaction this year, a nasty hay fever allergy has begun. A few years later, we pick another flower, sniff and inhale the pollens. This time, the allergen awakens the allergic antibodies that have been lying dormant just waiting for this moment. Now, allergic antibodies are not to be confused with antibodies that help us fight infection. Allergic antibodies are definitely working for the enemy. Since our initial pollen experience, these antibodies have attached themselves to our nasal and mucous membranes. Now that they've been stimulated by the pollen allergen, they produce a compound called histamine. It's this histamine that irritates and inflames our throat cells, makes our nose stuffy, our eyes itch, and breathing difficult. In other words, histamine is the source of all the misery hay fever sufferers have to endure. Which is why people with hay fever take antihistamines. And why allergies are nothing to sneeze at. It all makes sense with science. This has been presented by Bayer Corporation's National Education Program, Making Science Make Sense.